Hey guys, here's the official gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's uh, available in 4K on their website, so I am playing it in 4K, but you know, recording 1080p, but it should be higher than what you uh, would see uh, compared to a 1080p trailer. <laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> coming buddy in the late 1800s america was evolving on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world new immigrants arrived thriving outposts became towns and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge wild and lawless frontier with red dead redemption 2 rockstar games aims to create a living world that's not simply open but deeper. Come on, pretty boy. More interactive and detailed than ever. Pretty boy? Kid. Combining action. Storytelling. We need to get those people warm and fed. And gameplay in new ways. As you live, ride, and fight to survive as an outlaw in a notorious gang. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. The game is an attempt to capture this pivotal moment when the age of outlaws was ending and the modern world was born. There is a huge world to explore, set across a range of America's heartland and frontier. From harsh mountain trails and dense forests to untamed swamplands and sweeping deserts, rugged livestock towns to modernizing cities and much more all populated with a diverse cast of characters from turn-of-the-century life. Now shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. You play as Arthur Morgan, a trusted senior gun in the Vanderling Gang, a band of outlaws and outcasts on the run from the pressures of civilized life. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. Each time they are forced to flee an area, the gang sets up a camp as a base. This is where gang members eat, sleep, perform chores, play games, and share stories. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. These are the people Arthur calls family, and you will get to know each gang member over the course of the game. So, you save the silly bastard's life, and you and him go robbing sheep. Helping the camp with food and supplies will keep morale high, while spending time with other gang members can reveal new secrets, fun things to do, and opportunities for mischief. How about you and me go and redistribute some property? In and out of camp, the world is alive and responds to the player. Well, ain't this a rare treat? And your guns aren't the only way to interact with the environment. Call out to a passing rider. That's a nice horse. Talk yourself into trouble with a local tough guy. Clear out. Or out of trouble with a town sheriff. Or intimidate a witness into silence. And more. Keep your mouth shut. You're dead, friend. You don't want to involve yourself with this. Confrontations can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Do what you want. I don't care. You can form friendships. God. You did it. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch! Your actions have consequences, and it's up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> Shooting and fighting have both been radically improved to make combat deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action in a gunfight. In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your treatment of the animal. Hold still, girl. Some breeds are better suited for certain tasks. I got a fella been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. Your saddle and saddlebags can store extra weapons, along with supplies and animal carcasses that you pick up while out roaming or hunting. Over time, the bond between you and your horse will grow, making them easier to control in tense situations. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. 
A rich and varied ecosystem thrives in the world, full of predators, prey, and scavengers. All smart and sometimes deadly. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Hunting helps the camp or earns you money. Wound an animal and you'll have to track them down. Animal pelts and other items you find can be traded for cash to use at general stores, gunsmiths, saloons, and elsewhere. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. This is a world that is rich in depth and detail. All designed to be explored on horseback or on foot. As you live the fateful journey of a gang of outlaws on the run across America. In the next gameplay video, we'll look at missions, activities, enemy gangs, robberies, other things to do, and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Deadeye system. Oh my god. This that was incredible. And that was actual in-game footage, so that was amazing. Holy moly, that was good. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for this. Uh so what's interesting is that they're having a dead eye system that you know slows down the time of the game. Um so it's kind of reminds me a little bit uh sort of like Fallout, but not really like Fallout does have the va HVAC system where where um, it slows everything down and then it gives you the percentage. This doesn't necessarily do that, but uh, you can see uh, it just slows things uh, down like Max Payne. There we go. That sounds more like it. Max Payne style. A lot of it does sort of remind me a little bit like Max Payne, uh, but um, it is its own game. So what's interesting is I definitely like how each horse has different uh, special abilities that you can use in travel around and you can develop that relationship with the horse and then of course the wanted level is there uh, depending but now you have a whole crew that you can roll with for your wanted level and this train heist just looks amazing what i like is that also you can kind of shape your character the way you want him to be uh if you want him to be um more of a good guy outlaw or bad guy outlaw it's funny to say but look at this you he he shoots someone with a pistol, swaps, and then was able to shoot with um, his gun. It's pretty quick. So I do like the idea of uh, when you hunt, you can carry animals on your back of your saddle there. So overall, it looks good. Let me know. Uh, I do have a Red Dead Redemption channel that you know updates you on every single news of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's on the description below. You guys can subscribe to it, and I'll be playing it on my Facebook page. I right, love your beautiful faces. I'll see you guys next time.